Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to go to the previous or the root view controller in a navigation um, controller. So, uh, go back view controllers, we'll just call it that. And this could be useful if, let's just say, you had hidden your navigation bar, so the user can swipe back or go back, and you want to give them an a way to go back uh, to the previous um, view controller or to the root view controller so to set this up the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to create a new view controller and we'll just create this here and then I can just make this um, actually let me make this the initial view controller and then I'll make a segue to go into this view controller with a button and if we just put that in there, horizontally center it, and then we just connect that up like that. Alright, so now if we embed in a um, navigation controller, and let me just give this a different view color so we can see the difference. Um, I'll use teal. Okay, so now all this is going to do is we don't actually need to create a file for this since all, we, all we're doing in this is clicking this button so it brings us this but uh, if I just wait for this app to load you can see if I click this button it will bring me to this view controller so usually you could just click the back button or you could just swipe back and it would bring you to this however uh, if I was to go to um, the view controller and if I were to be like uh, override funk view will appear and let's just say I um, hide the navigation controller so to do that you just do navigation controller dot set navigation bar hidden true and animated uh, we'll just leave it as animated alright so now if we open it back we should see that the navigation bar is hidden uh, so you can see there's no navigation bar which stops us from being able to go back like this so in these kind of situations what you'd want to do is if we create a new button and I'll make the text orange so that you can see it clearly but basically if I click this and this can be our go back button all we do is I'm just going to make an outlet uh, go back and you can see that in to go back all you do is you just have to create this and you do navigation controller dot pop view controller animated true and this will send it back uh, one view controller to the one it was previously in uh, so if I click this and I click go back and you can see the navigation bar is hidden here that's just because we've set it to be hidden so um, if you were to like be like override and view will disappear and we'll just copy and paste this view will disappear and we'll set it to false so that the navigation controller is only missing in that view so now if we go back you'll see the navigation bar still there and you can see this go back button is working so now if we were to send it back to the root view controller all you need to do is you just change this to pop to root view controller and this is actually how you put it back to the root and since there's only two view controllers in this navigation sequence it's just going to go back to the same one but if there were a few more in between here then it will send it all the way back so um, I guess what I could do is if I just delete that segue and move this across and I create a new view controller and this can have a background color of uh, green and I'll also make a button and this button will take it to this view controller this one takes it to this one alright so now what I can show you guys is that it's going to take us all the way back to the first one so this one takes us here 
then this one takes us here can't go back so if we click go back it goes all the way to the root and if we were to just pop the regular way this uh, would just go back one view controller so it'll take us to the green one so yeah uh, I'll just write both of them so here and then go back goes to the green one alright so navigation controller dot pop to root view controller true goes back one view controller and goes back to the root view controller and it's important to note that these only work if you're in a navigation uh, controller since usually that's how the program can detect uh, if you're not then you can just dismiss the view but that's only if it's a pop-up view otherwise you just have to use a regular segue but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial so these are the two ways and um, bye